Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Stefan here from Mod to Fame, and we are back with another video, man. This one is featuring how to do a mod to your car that improves the performance feel without voiding your warranty. Anyway, let's jump into it. Let's go. So the item that you guys are looking at right here is a new product from Diablo Sport, and it's called Amped or PowerTech Partners. Amped is a product that is called a throttle booster. Newer cars all come with a system that's called drive-by wire. What that means is when you press the throttle, there's nothing connected to it. There's no cable or anything connected to that throttle. It is a signal that then is transmitted to the throttle body to open and to close. So this little guy right here is called your throttle body. You see this little black box that's on the throttle body? That controls the opening and closing of the throttle body motor, right? So that signal comes from the pedal to there. But what happens is when you press the throttle, it doesn't instantaneously open there. So it creates a little bit of a delay. Some might even say that could be unsafe, right? You're commanding something, you want it right then and there and you're not getting it. That can make the car feel sluggish. It can make it feel that it doesn't have all the power that's in this 5.7 V8. So therefore I'm going to use this amped product which what it does is it boosts the signal so that it makes it more immediate that whatever your foot is doing on that right pedal this little computer here is receiving and then delivering to the throttle body to pull the air in from the intake directly into the engine it's go time immediately as you do it so uh what we're going to do is we're going to install it because it has different modes after we're done in installing it, we're gonna test it and see if there's any difference. First thing you wanna do is disconnect the battery. That is the first thing you wanna do. You do not want power while you're doing this because you could potentially get some sort of a check engine light or something like that. So what I have to do is, as you guys saw when I was unboxing it, I plug these two into their designated areas. They're color coded, easy to find. And then what I'm gonna do is yeah, I'm going to disconnect the pedal cable connection and in its place, I'm going to put these there. They're going to intercept that to go in between it so that we can control it. So to get to our pedal, what we have to do is go underneath the dash right up on here to get to that pedal. Right. So we're going to pull down the dash. Uh, there's a little cover under there that's just blocking everything. We're going to pull that down and then we're going to plug this up. And within a matter of 15 minutes, we should be done. All right, guys, so as promised, pull that cover down. It's just a clip right here. You pull that clip out and you can pull it down. There's another clip here, but you don't need to pull the whole thing down. The reason why is because what you're looking for is that clamp that is right there. It's at the top of the pedal. So go up the pedal and it is right there. I'm gonna unclip that and then I'm gonna plug in my amp throttle booster. All right, that easy. All right, so now that that plug is out, right? I'm gonna plug, plug it into the correlating plug on the amp, and then I'm gonna plug this one into where the original plug was so that it can intercept that throttle. That is all we're doing, all right? I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. That's what she said. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Let's see, guys, am I that good? Am I that good? I am that good. Uh, or is it really just is that easy? I think it might be that easy, to be honest with you. I don't know if I'm that good. So now, this is just going to simply plug up there, right? See up there? But I do need my hands for that. So I'm gonna plug that in, but you guys get the point. And voila, our unit is installed, easily done. You see that? It took me a couple minutes. I tucked it up under the dash, put the cover back, and that's it. Our unit is in. Now what we have to do, is download the app from AMP so that we can control it, or we can control it using the controller that I've already put in the middle right there. But I'm gonna use the app because I think that's gonna be better for me. So the next step that we're gonna do is we're going to put the car in run, and we're going to go through the process for the first time connecting to the AMP device, connecting that AMP device to the phone. So. The way that we're going to do that is following these instructions right here. And then we're going to go through a throttle relearn process. And that process is simple. Um, it's just a matter of pressing the pedal to the floor and then releasing it, pressing it to the floor 
and releasing it, pressing it to the floor and releasing it. And that does our throttle relearn process, which gets us back to a fresh start with the throttle. So what we're actually gonna do now is switch it over. Now that the app is activated, the amp is connected to my phone. I'm gonna switch it now to check out the different modes from economy to stock, to drive, to sport, to extreme. I'm gonna start out with stock and I'm gonna give you guys my opinions on stock. So let's do that now. Let's go for a quick drive. Nah, Drake, chill. We're not playing you today. No copyright. Nope. Guys, you got the perfect opportunity in life. Opportunities in life don't always come up like this, where you could win this Dodge Charger RT wide body, custom purple color, custom white stripes, custom interior, everything done in best part of all, free and clear, you get the keys and the title. All you gotta do is visit montafame.com. Every $5 spent gets you an entry to win. So, you buy a hoodie like this, that's a lot of entries. But visit montafame.com, don't miss out on your chance to win. This thing is absolutely bananas, but we actually call it Big Perp. So make sure you enter the win, Big Perp, right now on modtofame.com. One of my favorite things about Big Perp, though, man, is how, like, I like the drivability of a factory car because it does everything right. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything it does right. Not to mention, it's just nice to drive such a nice car every day. It's pretty damn cool. I mean, we ain't here with the beautiful leather interior all whited out with diamond cut in it. And then we got the stars in the roof and the black suede roof. We didn't do like a black cloth. We did a black suede. Uh, only thing about having a white interior though, you gotta be careful with the jeans. So when I wear this, when I drive this car, I try to wear like either sweatpants or whatever the case may be. And if I do wear really dark color, like dark blue or something like that, I'll put like a towel or something on the seat. But besides that, pretty normal. I mean, I even got the car seat in here, guys. Check it, I had a little man ride with me with the car seat and everything. But driving around right now, everything feel completely, completely like stock. Nothing feels different, like absolutely nothing. And it is in stock mode. So obviously that proves to you that it's easy to turn it back to stock whenever you feel like it. And let me tell you, stock ain't bad. Stock is not bad at all. Especially once I press this little button right here, that little sport mode, the pedal is super responsive. And the ZF8 speed is so intelligent. Like you could blip the throttle and it'll downshift. You don't even gotta use the paddles. It just it just works. You know what I mean? And it's it's pretty jumpy in sport. Like you can feel the difference between driving in regular and driving in sport in one of these cars. But I'm excited to make some changes. But first, I'm gonna drive for a little bit more. Uh, get a little bit more feel in stock so I have it all locked in. Then we'll take it from there. A lot of way this car sounds, man. Five sevens with exhaust sound really good. So for the purposes of science, I'm gonna do all the tests in sport mode. All right, so all the tests are gonna be done in sport mode except for stock and economy, which I'll do without sport mode for obvious reasons. So I'm telling you driving stock, it feels just like stock, it feels pretty good. But now it's time to turn it up. So let's try the next mode up. All right guys, so now we're in drive. That mode is 150% or 50% more responsive than stock. So uh, coming up to get on the highway shortly, I'm not on there yet, but I could already tell a difference. Uh, I could already tell a little bit of a difference. So what I should feel is an increase in when I press the pedal and when there's a response. So, let's check it out. Oh, yo, oh, oh God. Yo, it's gonna break something, bro. Yo, that's a big difference, bro. Yo, and it's ready, like I tap the throttle a little bit and it downshifted because it's ready to go again. That's a nice difference that you can feel. 
Yo, like as soon as y'all y'all hear that? It downshifting like that. As soon as I press the throttle a little bit, it's downshifting quick. <laughs> Yo, play with these RTs if you want, bro. That is decent, bro. Decent. Hey, look, I'm going to show y'all better than I can tell y'all. Y'all heard that downshift, right? Mm. You feel it? Like, you feel that jump? It's like a jump. Oh, man, that's a... All right, let's go. Let's see how this thing picks up speed. Look at this. That's a hundred mile an hour that quick. That is not bad, bro. At all. That is a nice little difference. All right, next mode up. Let's try it. Yo, I swear on everything I love as soon as I switch the modes. As soon as I switch the modes, a cop just got on the highway. <laughs> like, he is like right there like behind in my back blind corner over there oh y'all was about to get me caught bro i'm so glad i was so glad i didn't punch it i, I was in the middle of switching the modes in my phone uh, i went from drive to sport which is now 75 percent more responsive than stock so you're just chilling right and you see somebody coming or whatever and usually you gotta reach for the paddles to downshift so that you can get ready but what i noticed is with this amp throttle booster tap the throttle it went right to the downshift and there it is and there it is and there it is that is so much more responsive bro like all right y'all know i don't i don't cap bro i don't cap this is the real, bro. I'm not I'm not joking with y'all. It is way more responsive. Like, way more. For this not to void your warranty, but to give you a responsiveness like this, I just love how I can downshift with the pedal now. Like, a hundred, I don't have to hit it hard either. All I do is tap it. This mod took 15 minutes, bro. Yo, I love it too, bro. Like, the downshifts are so quick. It is so much more responsive to the down, like the transmission knows what to do even better now. All right, here we go. Yo, it's like jumping. It's jumping. I gotta stop doing that. I feel like I'm gonna break something, bro. It's jumping so hard. Like it's like a shock. Like, a, like you can tell the throttle body is opening up immediately. You can tell immediately. This is fire. I ain't gonna hold y'all. This is probably the highest mode that I would go to though because it is really, really jumpy. Like, if I pass the throttle a little bit, it's already ready to go. Just a little bit of throttle. Oh, this Audi wants some. Where you at, Audi? Where you at? Nowhere. <laughs> Nowhere. Not bad, bro. Yo, I can't imagine what this must feel like on like a scat or a Hellcat. Yo, I, I guarantee you, this would probably make a V6 feel way better. Just like the res it's so responsive. Bro, I barely touched the pedal and downshift two gears. Barely. Barely touched the pedal. Wow. Listen, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'ma try the extreme, but I already know it's gonna be too much. But I'ma try it though. I'ma try it. Bro, legit, I just tried extreme. I cut it off immediately. I cut it off immediately. You gotta, that's reserved for the track. You don't need that for the street. 
uh, the tires cut immediately. Like, as soon as I pressed it, I felt the tires break. So, yeah, no, we're not using extreme um, just for the street. The perfect mode, I feel like, for everyday drivability is drive. Um, it's, it's a lot more responsive than stock, so it just feels a lot better. It's just, I just can't believe how fast it downshifts. Like, for everything I do, it's like, all right, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What are you doing? Let's go. That's what it feels like. It feels like, what you doing? Let's go. Why are you waiting? Let's go. Fire, bro. Fire. All right, we're going to give Extreme one more try. All right, here we go. Yo, it is so ready. Nah, this is too much, bro. Nah, extreme is too much for, for regular driving. I'm good. I'm good on that. I'm totally good on that. I'm totally good on that. Like, it just feels like it's going to jump me into the back of somebody else's car. I'm good. No thanks. We'll keep that for when it's like, if I got a race or something, or maybe we'll use it then. But, it, like, why does it need to drop three gears immediately? Again, it keeps downshifting crazy on extreme. Nah, we good, folk. We good, but listen, if that's what you into, if you want all the smoke, extreme is for you. It ain't for me. Woo! Well, guys, there you have it, man. First mod on Big Perp completed. I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing some more things here and there uh, just to improve the performance a little bit, get a little bit more out of it. These Hemis, they really respond to mods pretty well. So that one is done. Shout to Amped. Shout to Diablo Sport. Link is in the bio. If you want to pick up one, I would suggest if you want to do a mod without voiding your warranty, that makes the biggest difference. It's a pretty big one. So check it out, man. Link is in the description. It's your boy Stefan here from Mod to Fame. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification so you don't miss no more videos going forward. But until the next one, here in Big Perp, we out, we out.